Hello, and welcome to this video talk about Shimazu analytical balances. I will be giving an introduction about increasing the weighing efficiency of analytical balances and techniques for the removal of static electricity. This talk is divided into three sections. I will begin by introducing Shimazu's range of weighing instruments, then describe how we have improved the weighing efficiency of these products. Finally, I will describe solutions for the removal of static electricity. I hope this video will help you in improving the accuracy and productivity of the weighing process. So let's begin with the product introduction. Shimazu has an extensive lineup of weighing products available, including analytical balances, top loading balances, platform balances, and moisture analyzers. Special printers and ionizers are also available. I'd like to go into more detail about a few of these products. First, I'd like to introduce the AP series of analytical balances. The AP series began with the release of a 0.1 milligram model in 2016. A 0.01 milligram model was released in 2017, and another 0.01 milligram model, capable of measuring up to 220 grams, was released in 2018. This series provides both speed and stability in weighing samples and represents the cutting-edge digital technology Shimazu has cultivated in the field of analytical and measurement instruments. The series incorporates Uniblock AP technology, a further advance on Uniblock. In addition, the Stablo AP ionizer, a product that removes static electricity, can be used together with the AP series. I'll introduce the Stablo AP ionizer in a minute. A key feature of the AP series is that all models share a response time of around 2 seconds. Next, I'd like to introduce a new optional accessory, the AP holder. It holds volumetric flasks, beakers, and other containers in place during weighing. It can be used to hold a variety of flask shapes, so there's no need for you to change the type of holder between measurements. When used in combination with the Stablo AP ionizer, the AP holder also supports the efficient removal of static electricity from containers. Lastly, I'd like to introduce the Stablo AP ionizer. The ionizer releases ions from a discharge needle, alternating between positive and negative ions. This neutralizes any static charge on samples or containers. The Stablo AP can provide a stable balance of ions for approximately 10 years when used for 8 hours per day. It can remove static in one-tenth the time of the previous model. It can be used with the stand provided or be handheld or be combined with the AP series I described previously. This concludes the product introduction. Now, I'd like to discuss how to increase the weighing efficiency of balances. Let's take a look at the quick weighing process using the AP series. The AP series offers much greater responsiveness than the previous AU series. Please take a look at this video. The AP series is shown on the left and the AU series on the right. A 1 mg weight is placed on each balance at the same time. Please watch for the response time. The samples have been put in place. With the AP series, the measurement takes about 2 seconds. With the AU series, the response is slower and the process takes approximately 10 seconds. It's clear that using the AP series improves the efficiency of the weighing process. Now, Let's take a look at the new AP225W model. This model can measure up to 220 grams with displayed accuracy of 0.01 milligrams. These improved specifications have expanded the range of possible applications. For example, this model can be used when measuring differential weights. 
You can easily measure the amount of coating on a product or the amount removed after etching. You can also directly measure various samples, such as pastes, without the need for weighing paper. The AP holder is normally an optional accessory, but is provided as standard with the AP225W. As I described earlier, the AP holder can support various containers, including centrifuge tubes, volumetric flasks, and conical flasks. You simply place the AP holder directly on the sample pan, and there is no need to change the holder depending on the container. Another feature of the AP225W is the improved internal sensor which is more resistant to fluctuations in room temperature, providing more stable measurements. This graph shows the changes in the readout on the balance when a 200-gram object was repeatedly measured over 20 minutes. The ambient temperature increased by about 1 degree centigrade during this time. In an ideal case, the readout would be the same every time the object is measured. However, the sensitivity of balances usually changes with temperature. As you can see, the measurement results are more stable when using the AP225W. The change over time was reduced from 0 0.6 to 0 0.15 milligrams. That is to about a quarter of the change observed when using the previous model. Next, I would like to introduce some ways to remove static electricity. Static buildup can cause problems when trying to weigh samples. The sample sometimes sticks to the spatula or the container, or sometimes the sample is hard to transfer because it scatters easily. The static charge can prevent you from taking repeatable measurements. Changes in the static charge during measurement can lead to fluctuating readouts. Shimazu's solution to this is the Stablo AP ionizer. Let's see the Stablo AP in action. When a sample with a static charge is scooped out of the container, as shown here, the static electricity can make the sample stick to the spoon. When the Stablo AP ionizer is turned on, the static is removed. The sample no longer sticks to the spoon, so it can easily be transferred. I'd like to show you another effect of built-up static. When a weight with a strong static charge is placed on the sample pan, the value fluctuates as you can see. Turning on the Stablo AP removes the static. allowing you to take stable measurements. Let me explain a little about how static charges arise. Static electricity is generated when two objects rub against each other. Whether a material tends to acquire a positive or a negative charge can be seen by its position in this static charge chart. As an example, Consider a glass flask being temporarily placed on a wooden bench. As you can see from the static charge chart, glass tends to acquire a positive charge and wood tends to acquire a negative charge. So when the glass makes contact with the bench, the bottom of the flask becomes positively charged, quite unknown to the experimenter. Now suppose the same flask is placed directly on the balance pan. Even if the ionizer is turned on, only the static on the sides of the flask will be removed. The ions can't reach the bottom of the flask because it's touching the sample pan, so the static remains. The charge on the bottom of the flask causes a resultant force on nearby metal parts and the windshield, which makes measurements inaccurate. The AP holder solves this problem by exposing the bottom of the glass. In this case, the ions can remove static from the whole of the container. So the AP holder is not only useful for holding containers steady, but also for the reliable removal of static electricity. You can be sure of stable measurements every time. This graph shows how much the AP holder can help you to remove static. The column on the left shows the amount of static charge on the bottom of a flask before the ionizer has been turned on 
equivalent to about 5.5 kilovolts. The middle bar shows the effect of the ionizer being used without the AP holder for about 10 seconds, and on the right, you can see how much the static is reduced when the AP holder is used together with the ionizer. As you can see, if the AP holder is not used, then the charge on the bottom of the flask is barely reduced. However, when the holder is used, the static is reduced to 0.5 kilovolts, around one-tenth of the original amount. Now I want to show how quickly the balance readout stabilizes with and without the AP holder. This graph shows the measurement value over the time elapsed since the removal of static with the ionizer. Without the holder, the measurement takes almost two minutes to stabilize, but with the holder, it stabilizes in just over 30 seconds. To summarize, in this video, we have discussed solutions for making the weighing process more efficient and for removing static electricity. I have described the quick response of the AP Analytical Balance Series and the increased applications made available by the AP225W and the AP Holder. I also described how the Stablo AP Ionizer and the AP Holder can be used together to effectively remove static from all sides of a container. That's all, and thank you for watching. Excellence in Science, Shimazu.